हेलो 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 गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू फाइन जस्ट फाइन ऑल गुड रेडी थैंक यू आई एम ओके थैंक यू डिड यू हैव अ गुड डे यस गुड यस आई नाइस प्रोडक्टिव busy tired full of emotion full of action full of activities <laughs> relax <laughs> relax nice okay good evening good evening that okay olympia ready christina yana selena Fatima, Ruth, Erika, Melissa, Marisol, Roxana, Elmer, Jadira. Hello, good evening. And of course, Hazel and Armando, right? <laughs> okay, they already participated. They already say good evening. No bad, busy, tired, relaxing. Anything about your day? How was your day? What did you do? Did you go to work? Did you I'm study working, working yeah. all day? I working today all day. Go to work with uh, me. Middle. Middle? Half. 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 Half of the day. Half. Okay. Yes, half, half of the day. What okay, what's your job or where do you work? And I work with my mother and she has a business. She, she, Oh, nice. Yes. Really? Uh, tienda de ropa. Uh, a clothing store. Mm -hmm. Nice. Repeat, please. A clothing store. She has Clo a clothing yes. store. From clothes. Yes. Exactly. Oh, nice. And Armando, what do you do? What's your job? Um. Uh... Prestamista. So you work for a bank, similar to a bank. Yes. All right. So you like numbers. Mm. <laughs> <Armando>. um, <Armando laughs> <y asociados. laughs> oh, really? It's your oh, your family business too. Uh, no, it's personal. All right. Your own business. Yes. Nice. So you go to an office every day. Uh, in Cara Sucia. Oh, really? Yes. That's far. I far, have the, far away. The transactions. Transactions, like bank uh, transactions uh, every day. To cell phone. All right. Nice. So you travel every day to Carasusia? No. <laughs> you work from home? Yes. Nice. Home office. Sí, okay. yo llamo para decir dónde está alguna persona que necesita que van a dejar el dinero y lo llevo. All right. So making phone calls. Sending messages. Calls. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Good. All right. What about Marisol? What do you do? Repeat. What's your job? What do you do? Where do you work? Eh, tengo emprendimiento. Ay, solo business yeah, owners yeah. tengo aquí en esta clase. That's very nice. I yeah, like it. Yeah. company. Me conviene. Hagamos una compañía a todos. Exactly. You have your own business. What kind of business, Marisol? Eh, hago bracelet, pulsera. Oh. Pues, jewelry you make jewelry and you have a store no. do you have a store tiene una tienda or where do you sell eh, your products your accessories eh, solo para really 
So online. you have a, a, a page you sell online. Yes. Wonderful. I am good at making jewelry. I love to do that for fun, of course. I like to do that as a hobby. I'm very good with handcraft. Yes. Yes, I like that. All right, nice. What about Olympia? Olympia looks serious. Maybe she works in an office. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what about you? What do you do? Um, I... <laughs> uh, what happened? Uh... I sell shoes. You sell shoes? Yeah. <gasps> Hazel sells clothes. Olivia sells shoes. Marisol sells jewelry. What are we <laughs> waiting for? We can get a department store. <laughs> you have your own business too. What? Really? You have your own business. Tiene su propio negocio. Yeah. Wow. I only have business people in the class. That's very amazing. And now you want to make business internationally. <laughs> That's good. Anybody has like a normal job? Or everybody's a business? A business person, a business owner. Uh, ay, ya me dio pena. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> ¿Por qué le da pena? Why are you shy? Don't be shy. Uh, bueno, que todo empezó, más que todo con mi hermano mayor. Este, él y yo empezamos a hacer yes, como que la inversión. The business. Y ahí vamos. Okay, only shoes. Sí. Sandals, children's shoes, women's shoes, men's shoes, everybody's shoes. Uh, men and women. Men and women, hmm? not children. No. Why Sorry. not? <laughs> you need to incorporate children's shoes. All right, nice. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm giving you the ideas. Now you have to give me some credit. Nah. <laughs> and where is your business? Uh, where? Where is the business? Donde están ubicados? Or online too? Online. Online. Um, nice. I am a mother and a full time, full time housewife. A full time housewife. Oh, nice, Roxy, Roxana. Hello. Your microphone. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Yo decía que I am a mother and a full-time housewife. And that's very good because you say it very well. How many children do you have? One. Just one child. A boy or a girl? Boys. A boy. How old is he? What? <laughs> How old is your boy? Uh, five. Five. He's little. Yes. <laughs> he goes to school? Yes. Kindergarten. Yes, sí. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Everybody has own business or anybody has a job, like a normal job at an office or at a factory or you all have your own business. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. really exciting. Work at an office. Oh, you work in an office. Yes. Oh, what's your schedule? What time do you start working? What time do you finish? Mm, I start at nine. Uh -huh. I start at nine. And I finish? At uh, 3 p.m. Oh, from nine to three. Yes. Oh, what a relaxing schedule. Yes. <laughs> es una oficina contable. 
accountant. Yes. Are you an accountant? Yes. Oh, wow. You see? Pay notes because you might need an accountant in your business too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. But it's a very good schedule. I start at nine and finish at three. That's my dream schedule. <laughs> yes. I start at seven and I finish at five. And then I teach two hours here. Imagine. My whole life, huh? the whole day, and the whole night I'm teaching. Oh. <laughs> it is very tiring sometimes. I mean, not this two hours is nothing compared to the whole day. It's not that I'm teaching the whole day, but I have to be at my job. I have to be at the foundation all this time from seven to five. Sometimes we do different activities with the students, but uh, it's really tired because the time is very, very long. That's why we feel tired, okay? Well, thank you for sharing. That's very nice of you. That was very kind of you. I'm going to take the attendance. I think everybody is connected now. I saw Adriana already. Adriana, what do you do? Adriana Madai. Listening to me. Yes. Uh, hello. Hello. What do you do? <laughs> right now but what do you do for living what do you do in life <laughs> a que se dedica soy estudiante I'm a student yes a university student yes of what career uh, gerencia informática oh my goodness what an interesting career Nice. Alma. Alma. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What do you do? Ay, se me. <laughs> Yo todavía no puedo. <laughs> no, ¿a qué se dedica? Eh, soy costurera. Oh, really? Yes. So you have your own business too. You can say tailor, like sastre, or a seamstress, a costurera. Nice. Very good. Hey, Kevin. Good evening. Yo ahorita no le entiendo lo que me dice. No se preocupe. Estoy es, aprendiendo. Sí, it's aprender. okay. Solo dije que puede decirlo como Taylor. Que puede ser eh, como Taylor Swift. He escuchado el nombre de esa cantante. Eso es, es sastre o seamstress, que es costurera. Vi que Kevin había levantado la mano. No sé, Kevin, si tenía algo que decirnos. Kevin, Kevin. Ah, no, nada, coach. Que, como siempre me está costando, que se me dio vuelta con lo pues. Really? Ay, Kevin, I'm sorry to hear that. But it happens. Hopefully you have no problems anymore, okay? All right, Ana, Ana Beatriz. Anderson Armando. Not here. Armando Antonio. Present. Brenda. Brenda, Brenda. Hola. Hello, Cristina. Cristina Michelle, hello. Present. Hi. Elmer. Hi, hi. Okay. Diana, mencioné Diana. Present. Hello. Okay, sorry. Erika. Present. Hello. Fatima. Present. Hello. Freddy. Present. Hello. Hazel. Present. Hello. Uh, Jocelyn Tatiana. Present. Hello. Carla Yamile. Carla. Catherine Stephanie. 
present. Okay. Hello. Kevin Alexander. Present. Maria Jose. Present. Hello. Marisol. Present. Hello. Melissa. Present. Hello. Nelvin. Nelvin Enrique. Olympia. Present. Roxana. Present. Ruth. Ruth Elisa. Present. Hello. Present. Sandra. Present. Hello. Tatiana Maria. Present. Hello. Yadida Natalia. Present. Hello. Jocelyn Arlene. Present. Hello. Selena Jamilet. Present. Alguien no mencionado? Somebody? Somebody I didn't mention? No, everybody. Yes? Oh, good. Okay, after talking a little bit about your job and what you do in life, what you do every day, your schedules, okay, we're going to continue with today's class is class number 11, actually. Yes, tomorrow is class number 12. And tomorrow is the last class of this week, actually. This week is so fast, so fast. All right. I won't repeat this information because you already know. You already got it. They send reminders today also in the group about the section that you have to complete for this week. So you already know this. And this is the third week complete ex uh, section four and section five, uh, around 50%, let's say. Well, at the end of this class, participants will be able to Create sentences using possessive adjectives. That's the class objective. And we are going to start with a conversation. Right. Look at the picture, giving in a picture. Mm -hmm. What can you see on the picture? It mixes the clothes. Oh, they mixed clothes. Uh -huh. What else? Hand. They are angry. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's angry? angry? The lady in the black skirt or the lady in boots? Black skirt. <laughs> the lady in the black skirt. And she is holding jeans. jeans. And the other lady, what happened? Sweater. She's trying. Uh, she feels bad. She feels embarrassed. She's holding a white shirt or a white blouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is this lady wearing? She's wearing what is she wearing? Uh-huh. She's wearing. She's wearing a high heel. She's wearing high heels. That's right. She's wearing. Uh, orange blue. An orange blouse. Mm -hmm. What else? In a black skirt. Yes, <laughs> I know you were going to, oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> okay. That's right. And uh -huh, she's wearing boots. She's wearing brown boots. She's wearing jeans. She's wearing light jeans. Blue. I like blue jeans. Uh -huh. What else? She's wearing a sweater, a beige sweater. Beige. Right? Uh -huh. And she's wearing, how do you say chaleco? 
<laughs> no idea. Vest. V E S T. Vest. Mm -hmm. It's incredible, but not best with B. No, vest with V. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just wearing a green vest. Like V neck. Right. But the pronunciation is the same. Vest and best. Yes. Best. <laughs> it's a, yeah, just the first letter is the difference. Best, you are the best. But this is vest. Vest. Mm -hmm. All right. We have Pat and Julie. Pat says, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine, sorry. So that's why she said that. Oh, they're mine. Sorry. She's ashamed. She's embarrassed, right? Embarrassed. She didn't know or she didn't think if you put light blue jeans or blue jeans with white clothes, probably the white clothes is going to become light blue, right? So maybe the jeans should be washed separated, <laughs> not in the same space, not at the same time that you put white clothes. Right, so definitely she is Pat and she is Julie, right? Mm -hmm. Because she is the one holding the white blouse. Pat says, great, our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are, dry, are light blue. Here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine, sorry. Okay, take a look at the conversation. Bien, bien. Identifiquen qué cosas les podrían dar dificultad para entender de lo que se está tratando la conversación. Y las podemos mencionar. Dry es como mezclar. Dry es seca. Un día se secó la ropa. Yes, dry. All our clothes are dry. Great. Es como en Estados Unidos, right. en otros países, exactly, se acostumbra pues ir a la lavandería. Entonces, pues están las washing machines y están las drying machines. Yes. So you go, you insert coins and you wash the clothes. And after you wash the clothes, you dry the clothes. Right. And you come with the clothes clean to your house. Of course, in El Salvador. It's different. <laughs> we wash the clothes in the river and then we hang the clothes and, and dry in the sun. No. Sometimes we wash the clothes in the lavadero. Sometimes we have a washing machine, right? But in other countries, it's different. All right? Anything else? Algo más? Que sientan que it's now very easy to understand? Mm hmm Yo tenía una duda, teacher. Yes. Eh, el use, el us, se puede utilizar, no, el use, se puede, I use. se puede utilizar, ajá, uh -huh. aquí en lo de las prendas. ¿Cómo usar? I use. Ajá, uh -huh. I use. Uh -huh. Algo que se lleva puesto es where. Bueno. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. puedo decir, yo utilizo eh, una computadora para trabajar. En eso sí, I use a computer to work. Uh -huh. Or I use a tablet for my class. Pero algo que se lleva puesto sí es where. 
el use es como para objetos. Entonces, Usar ¿sabes? para otros propósitos, no para llevar puesto sobre el cuerpo. Es más, hasta el perfume es wear. Uh, I wear ¿sí? perfume. Uh -huh. Body lotion. O sea, es como momentario que uno ocupa las cosas nada más. Por decir Ajá, así. O las utiliza para otros propósitos, ¿no? pero no para ponérselo sobre el cuerpo. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Algo más? Pronunciation? Any other problem? No. Seguros. Sure. 100% sure. All right. Yeah. Bye. Vamos a hacer algo. I'm going to circle algunas cosas que yo sé que son new para ustedes. For example. Break our clothes. Mm, wait. Borrar esto. Se me da esto. Es el circle. Our clothes. Nuestras ropas, right? Our es el possessive de nosotros. Our. Yes? Decimos our house. Our class. O sea, nuestro. Es el posesivo de nosotros. Porque ellas están lavando la ropa en conjunto de ambas. Por eso dicen our. Por eso Pat no dice my clothes. Dice our clothes are dry. Where is my new? Aquí sí está utilizando el posesivo de ella nada más. Porque solo está buscando la blusa de ella. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Aquí estamos utilizando también otro possessive. Pero en este caso el possessive es un poquito diferente porque lo estoy utilizando ya como un pronoun. Eso después lo vamos a ver. Don't worry. Pero también es possessivo. Es tuyo. Is it yours? Entonces lo utilizamos al final. Y le ponemos S. Si lo utilizáramos al inicio, diríamos your blouse. Ahí no le ponemos S. Esa es la diferencia. No, it's not mine. Se fijan, aquí, este mine es different a este. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Va, ahorita explico la diferencia. Aquí en este, my new blouse, utilizamos my y luego el objeto, la prenda. My car, my house, my new blouse, my jeans. Pero este está al final, it's not mine. O sea, no es mío, no es el mío. Yes? Ambos son míos. Like yours. Mm -hmm. like, like yours, exactly. Wait, it is mine. Yes? It is mine. Otra vez. Está siendo utilizado. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes. Otra vez. Our. Are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans. Whose jeans. Whose. Es para decir de quien. Whose jeans are they. Oh they're mine. Sorry, aquí otra vez tenemos mine. Yes? They're mine. Son míos. So, possessive adjective and possessive pronouns. Esa es la diferencia. Ahorita vamos a practicar nada más, solo por vocabulary, intonation, pronunciation. Luego vamos a estudiar el tema como tal. All right? De los possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Clear? Here. All right. Nice. Yeah. Tell me. Any question? No? Sure? Great.
Somos cuatro. ¿Mande? Cuatro somos. Tres. Tres. Vaya, ¿quién quiere ser padre? ¿Quién quiere ser yo? Eh, yo voy a ser padre. Great. Yeah. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new glass? What color is it? Is it white? Hers a light blue blouse. Is yours? No, it's not my way. It is my, it's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blue, this host? Oh, they're mine, sorry. Hoy que Fátima sea Pat y usted sea Yu. It's right. It's white. Where a light blue blue. Is, is it yours? All how close a light blue. Here's the problem is this <laughs> new blue. Uh, I'm Pat and Sandra and Julie. My. Great, our clothes are the three. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blues. Is it yours? No, it's not my. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these a new jeans, a blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. ¿Siguen ustedes dos? ¿Otra vez? Sí, me parece bien. Pat, o you... This. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? ¿Cuál? La última. Disaster, mm. algo así. Disaster. Disaster. Uh -huh. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here the problem it it is new new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Oh they're mine, sorry. Ahora, ¿Y ahora? yo sería con Brenda. Ajá, yo sería con Brenda, yo sería ahora Julie, porque Brenda hizo primero Julie. ¿Cómo? Yo sería porque Julie. Había... A usted eso, Julie, entonces le tocaría a Pat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y a ella, Julie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Comienza. Entonces. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Gray, all clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? Blouse. Is is it yours? Okay. No, it's no, it's no. Nine. Why? It is nine. It's a disaster. Oh no! All 
our clocks are light blue. It is the problem. It is. Okay. It is blue and blue and blue. And it is yours? No, it's not my what it's my it's disaster. Oh no, I or closet are lean blue. Here's the pro the problem. It says no blue jeans, close jeans are they? Put the data my sorry. Eh, ahora practico yo con alguno. Hola. Hola, que si me costó de entrar. Hola, que se me acabó. No sé quién quiere practicar conmigo. <risa> Cualquiera. Okay. Vaya, empiezo <risa> yo. Sí, comienzo. Ok. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my nail blouse? What color is in? It's white. Is lean blue blues blouser is yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, I would close are in blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, there's in my sorry. My, ahora si quieren. Soy la segunda, no sé quién va a empezar. Hoy, hoy qué pasa con otra compañera. Va. Muy bien. Yo no sé bien pronunciar las palabras porque ya vi que ya sí puede bien. <risa> Exacto, si vivió. Así que yo, te... yo les digo, si quieren, vaya. Si quieren, se los leo y lo van. Ajá, porque nosotros, como estamos ahí empezando, nos vaya, confundimos. Dice. La primera. Great. Great. Uh, great. Our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It what color? What with white? It's white. It white. Here's a light blue blouse. It is yours? No, it's not my white. white is wait. Wait. It is my. It's, it's, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. So sería, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's this, it's, it's this mm, new blue jeans. No blue jeans. No blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Repita que no lo escuché. Whose, whose jeans Who's are they? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're in mind. Sorry. No sé si tienen oh, alguna palabra que les falte. Todas. <laughs> Ya regresamos. Casi, pero usted siga que aquí todos aprendemos. Clothes. Clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Excellent. Everybody's back. Yes.
All right. Vale, aquí estamos viendo ya lo de los possessive. Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Ambos son possessive. ¿Sí? Denotan posesión. Déjenme ver. These are my socks. These are your socks. These are his socks. Her socks. Our socks. Their socks. Okay. En los possessive adjective, después de esta palabrita que denota posesión, ponemos el artículo, el objeto que es poseído, pues, digamos, my car, your car, his car, her car, our car, their car. Esto va a depender, mine es para I, your, para you, his, para he, her, para she, our, para we, us, right, and their, para they. Y luego de decir el adjective, decimos el objeto, ¿sí? O la posesión. Luego tenemos los pronouns. Esto, lo que se diferencia es que el objeto se menciona antes. ¿Sí? These socks are mine. These socks are yours. These socks are his. Si se fijan el his, para acá y para acá es el mismo. Solo que aquí el objeto lo mencionó después y aquí el objeto lo mencionó antes. Yes. These socks are hers. En hers le agrego S. These socks are ours. También agrego S. These socks are theirs. Para todo, excepto para mine es para his, solamente agrego S. Mine cambia totalmente de mine y his que se mantiene igual. Yes. Otra forma de denotar possession es agregando el apóstrofe es. ¿Se han fijado que dice Rebecas Salón? ¿Qué significa eso? El, re, el salón de Rebeca. ¿Ya? Entonces, esa es otra forma que es súper común también en English. Es decir, Pat's Blouse, Julie's Jeans, Rex T-Shirts. Y para preguntar, ¿de quién es? Digo, who's. Who's. who's que viene de who. Who's blouse es this. It's Pat's. Es de Pat's, right? Whose jeans are these? They are Julie's. Yes? ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? ¿Questions? Yes? No? No questions? Sure. Ver, ¿Qué les parece totalmente nuevo? These pronouns or the S and the name and the apostrophe. Esta no es la contraction de Pat is. No, porque si no diría Pat is una blusa. Right? So this is possessive. Pat's blouse. Yes, my mom's dress. Si queremos decir el vestido de mi mamá. Right? Okay. Good. Let's go on with the exercises. There are one, two, three, four little conversations. Of course, ustedes tienen dos opciones en paréntesis. Y tienen que decidirse por una. That's the challenge, ¿ok? En todos los espacios tienen dos options, in parentheses. And the number one ya está resuelto, así que no tienen mucho que hacer acá. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. Porque aquí ya se mencionó el hat. No, entonces no escucho. A mí no elijo her, sino que elijo hers. No, este it's ya está sustituyendo a hat. It's not hers. It's mine. 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 Exacto, mine. porque aquí tengo el it's ya. Que está sustituyendo a had. Entonces, y no tengo had después. Entonces digo, 
it's mine. Yes. Vamos a ver cómo nos quedaría el segundo. Your. Your. El primero o el segundo. Con ese o sin el ese. Primero. El primero. Sin ese. ¿Por qué? Porque no me está hablando el su ella que es como por decir este tengo... es mío porque tiene que estar al final. Y tengo aquí gloves, ¿verdad? Después del possessive adjective. Entonces digo, are these your, are these your gloves? Are these your gloves? No, they're not my. my. El primero es uno. El primero. Uh -huh. my. my gloves. Porque aquí tengo gloves otra vez, right? They're not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Preguntémosle a Sally. Maybe they are hair gloves. gloves. Porque igual sigo teniendo gloves después del possessive adjective, right? Maybe they are her gloves. Right? Vaya, resolvimos la conversation too. Ahora les toca a ustedes en nuestro grupo resolver three and four. Esto lo van a hacer súper rápido because it's super easy. Lo voy a borrar, pero yo sé que ustedes ya lo habían copiado o lo vuelven a copiar. Don't worry. Let's see. La conversación tres y cuatro. Sí. Abre. En la tres, en el literal A, go, 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 no, sin ese. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Are they Julie's and Buddy's? Um, no, they. Uh -huh. No, they are not theirs, creo que es. Pero ver, no, they ¿Cuál dijo usted? Yo dije la A. Who's? ¿Por qué? Theirs. ¿Mm? ¿Por qué theirs? Porque estamos hablando de ellas, de Julie y Pat. Y porque al final tiene their teacher. Lleva la S, tendría que llevar el apóstrofe y yes. La 1 ya está respondida. Ajá. Uh -huh. La número 1 sí. Eh, la 13 que vamos a responder como dice search are they are they your? yo creo que es uh, la primera uh -huh. 
En la número tres, bueno. Ajá. Vaya. Ese de no, de no. ¿Cuál crees que sea la? Es que yo ahí no lo entiendo. Como estoy descontinuada de Sería en la, en la tercera sería Whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, they're not. Their t-shirts about Y en el otro sería Theirs. Are sí. Con ese. And uh -huh. these short are yours. Yours. Y en la cuadro sería Hey, these are not or closed. Your right holes are over there. Uh -huh. Ours. All old. All old. Si le va así, se dice el teacher. All old. Ours. Ok, no, de verdad. Is. Hello. You. Okay, finish. Finish. Yes. Great. All right, number two, ya la habíamos resuelto, right? Number three. Who's? Uh -huh. Whose or your t-shirts are these? Obviously, it's a question, so we say whose, right? Whose. Whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, they are not. They are. There, right? They are not their t-shirts. They're not their t-shirts, but these socks are theirs. Are theirs, right? These socks, como se menciona ante los socks, le ponemos la S. These socks are theirs. And these shorts are yours. Are yours. Okay. These shorts are yours. Nice. Hey. These are not oh. our clothes. These are not our clothes, right? You're right. Our. Ours our. are over there. Our. Yes, ours are over there. Las nuestras están por ahí. Right. Are over there. Okay. Correct. Así les había quedado. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> All right.
<risa> ok. En este caso, hubiéramos puesto un objeto de cada uno y hubiéramos preguntado, ¿Es this, is this watch yours? No, it's not mine. Maybe it's Brenda's, for example, right? Or is this cell phone yours? Or is this your cell phone? Cualquiera de las dos opciones tenemos con possessive adjective o con possessive pronoun, right? So we could have asked with that. Vale. Voy a compartirles un link para que practiquen un poquito el vocabulary de Claude. Pero se lo voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp. Desde ahí ustedes pueden accesar y resolver los ejercicios. Déjenme, ahorita se los comparto. Me confirma si ustedes pueden abrir el link. Yes? Ok. Please. Ahorita. Obviamente solo entran al link y ya. Y me dice que ven, que es lo que, que pueden ver en ese website. Got it? Language, ID, school subject. Veamos. But is he, he's wearing. Ajá, ¿y qué tienen que hacer? Abajo ven las figuritas y arrastran el número a la descripción correcta. ¿Yes? Vale. Cuando lo hayan resuelto, le dan finish. Y cuando le han dado finish, le va a dar dos opciones. Check my answers or email my answers to the teacher. De una vez le dan check my answers para ver cuáles le salió correcto. Yes? Okay. Is that clear? ¿Sí queda claro lo que hay que hacer? Yes. Vamos a ver. Tienen todavía un minuto para resolverlo. Vamos a ver quién lo resuelve. Y yeah, Adrián, I don't think so. No, no se preocupen, les va a quedar para que se diviertan tonight en su modo. Eso lo va a compartir para que nosotros lo resolvamos mañana. Exactly. No sé, un ratito que tengan ahí, ustedes a mí voy a hacer el ejercicio que mando la Voy a practicar un poco de reading, de vocabulary. Y se desestresan ahí con ese exercicio. ¿Ok? Lo va, con, lo va a compartir en el grupo y nosotros nos metemos al, al link de, de la clase siempre. Mm, uh -huh. No, este ejercicio solo se meten a ese link y lo va a llevar a ese ejercicio. Lo de la clase es normal, el link de la clase. ¿Ya? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, well, that's it. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy. Continue practicing. Good night. May good God night. bless you. Good Bye. Night. Good 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 night. Good